Good day, lovely humans of the LaGuardia Community College Early Childhood Learning Center. I'm so happy to be here today. And I have to tell you a little, uh, a little dog update. We've got some pups over here and they are playing with their toys. Can you see this? Yes, some serious dog toy action is happening in Mr. Andy's abode. Dougal, Dougal, look, say hi. Effie, Effie has figured out how to open up her toy and take out the squeaking device. Not good. Anyway, well, let me fix my camera for me. It very, it, well, look at my plane up there. <laughs> so very interesting today. You're going to see me in two different places and probably in two different outfits because I, outfits, <laughs> I uh, have for technical reasons, just bear with me. So half of our lesson, you'll see me like this and half of the other lesson the, of the same. Sorry. In another half, you're going to see me like something else. Just roll with it. You're going to have a great time. So today we're going to start a new journey and we're going to do a journey with babies. We're going to go on a baby journey. Raise your hand if you can. Please tell the entire class and the rest of the classes, what do you know about babies? Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Yes, go you. Yeah, we were all, yeah, like, when babies, whoa, blah, 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 babies are small, aren't they? Yeah, they're little tiny, they're little tiny things. Can they walk? No. What else? Yeah, they like bottles, yes. And what else? <gasps> yeah, they need their love. They need love. Man, Mr. Andy's, get your brain rolling today. They need love, they need care. They need to keep warm. They can't do all those things for themselves. So they need help. Very good. You guys are awesome. And you know what? I was a baby once. Your teachers were a baby once. We were all small. And that's pretty cool. Then we grew up and we learned how to walk and take care of ourselves. Like you guys. You guys are learned that as well, right? You guys can eat on your own. You can walk on your own. You can... Go to the bathroom on your own. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wear a diaper anymore. Okay, not until you're older. <laughs> that's when it all kind of turns back around. But that's a whole, That's we'll, we'll save that conversation for college. I'm kidding. Okay, so are animal babies like us? Do they need the same things? They do, don't they? Yeah, they need their care from their parents they need to be fed they need to be kept warm it's the same thing little baby animals and you know what it's spring it is spring finally and in spring animals are being born especially birds can you hear the birds outside all i hear is effie digging into her toy but I can hear, actually, I can hear birds out there. There's little birds going. <laughs> can you guys make that noise? <laughs> nice one. All right. So I found this little book and it's called Nest. And it's about a little baby bird being born. And it's so sweet. And, and it's being born from an egg. That's where little baby birds come from. They hatch from eggs. And it's called Nest. And I want to share it with you because it's a really sweet book. Are you ready? Here we go. Nest by Jory Hurley. Nest.
warm. Hatch. Grow. Jump. Feast. Surprise. Blow. Snuggle. Oh. Sleep. <laughs> Awake. Explore. Meet. Nest. <laughs> Yes, great, good job. That was awesome. Thanks for reading or watching, I should say, and listening. You Maybe you did read along. I hope so. That's awesome. So, you guys, I just want to tell you that book is so great. And at the end, I love it because it just shows the whole journey of that baby bird. And what do you think that, that when that baby bird met the other bird when it grew up a little bit and they made a nest together, what do you think they're going to put inside of that nest? Yes, they're going to put another egg or eggs with little baby birds inside. That's right. All right, today we are gonna make our very own baby bird puppet. I'm so excited. Let me see, I've got so many here I wanna share with you. Here's a little blue one. Let's see if this is, this is my baby blue puppet. My little baby bird, my little baby blue bird puppet. Little baby bird blue, whoa, that's hard to say. Little baby blue baby bird puppet. No, wait, this is a baby blue baby bird puppet. <laughs> this is a baby blue bird puppet. And this is a little baby blue baby bird puppet. Wow, that was awesome. Whoa, <laughs> tongue twister. And look, here's my birdies. I actually have a couple here. I have a red one, two. I have a couple, I have two couples. I have four. And here's a green one if I can pick it up. Here we are. Look, oh, I've got a whole family of birds. And they're finger puppets. They go on top of my fingers. So you're gonna make a little cone and then you're gonna make a little round head and you're gonna decorate it. Whoa. Are you ready? Let's make a baby bird puppet. All right, my friends, I'm gonna teach you how to make a baby bird finger puppet. It's really, really fun and pretty easy. All right, so what we need is paper. We also need some markers. I have 
this orange marker to draw the beak of my bird. I've got a yellow marker for the belly. I've got black marker for the eyes and I've got blue marker for the feathers of the bird. Ooh, I have a glue stick and you're also gonna need scissors. All right, let's start. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to draw a rectangle with your marker. I'm gonna use my blue marker because I'm gonna make my bird blue. And I am gonna put my finger down since it's a finger puppet. I need to measure how big my puppet's gonna be. So I'm gonna put my finger right in the bottom corner and I'm gonna go right above it and I'm gonna draw a rectangle like this. Wow. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw the belly of my puppet because I want my little belly for my baby bird to be yellow. I'm just gonna draw a little baby yellow. Little ball, little belly that's yellow. Little yellow belly. Like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and color the inside around the inside of my rectangle around my belly. The belly I made. I'm trying to make it look like feathers. I always think scribbles look like feathers. I kinda like it. There we go. Now I'm gonna draw the head of the baby bird. Before I cut everything out, I'm gonna draw everything. So I'm gonna draw my baby bird head in a circle. And I like to make big circles for my heads so they're really easy to see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw. I'm gonna draw a little circle like that. <laughs> and now, before I color it in, I'm gonna draw the beak of my baby bird. Oh, look at my beak. I'm gonna put two little nose holes there's my beak. And then, before I color the rest of it in, I'm going to draw some eyeballs. Oh, little eyeballs on my baby bird. Oh, look at them. And I'm gonna just kind of make little circles around it. Yeah, let's just do that. That looks cool. My baby bird. And now, I'm gonna draw some feathers on its face. Aw, little feathers. Little feathers on my baby bird face. Yay! Cool. <laughs> now, I'm gonna just put a little bit more in there. Why not? Just for fun. There we go. Now, I'm gonna cut it out because I wanna make some wings for it. But I'm gonna cut it out first so I know how big I want my wings to be. So be careful, grab your scissors, cut out your rectangle. And then cut out your school or your circle for the head, like so. Yeah. Like so, you're cutting out your the head of your baby bird puppy. Oh yeah. And now I'm gonna put together my little baby bird puppet before I put the wings on so I know how big they are. So this is how you do that. You're just gonna make this into a little tube, like so. And grab your glue stick, put some glue on one side like this. And then you're gonna just glue one side to the other, like that, yeah, like this. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm making a little tube for my finger. See, there's my baby bird body. Now we just need to put the head on. So I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom of my baby bird head like that, how easy. And now I'm going to put the head on top of the body. Now, that doesn't really look like a bird. I mean, the beak makes it look like a bird, but it's missing something. What's it missing? Yes, the wings. Good job. Take your sheet of paper that you cut all that stuff out of. And what you can do is this. You can draw the wings around your puppet. So I'm gonna draw just some little baby bird wings like this. Ready? <laughs> See that? And then I can just do the same thing over here. 
And then I can color all them in. Look at my baby bird. Aww. Just scribble, scribble, scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. I like to scribble. And then watch, I'm gonna take my baby bird away and then I'm just gonna go like that to kind of continue it all. So you have one big wing span for your bird, wow. Look at my wings. Very downy. And now, downy. <laughs> that means, that's like feathery. Now, take your scissors and cut out the wings. Like this. Yes. And then, I'm gonna cut out the bottom part. And then I'm gonna put some glue in the middle of my wings like this. See the glue there? And then I'm gonna take my puppet body and look what I did. I glued on my puppet wings and now I have a baby bird finger puppet. See, there it is on the back and the front on my finger. That was awesome, you guys. Cool, all right, come over here. You guys, that's so cool. Look at these birds. I hope you can make a lot of bird puppets too and you can take them to the park and fly them around. Awesome. You guys are so wonderful. I absolutely adore you and you're incredible. And I hope you stay happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you stay safe. And I will see you again soon.